Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is a, a Beyond Clicking Cliff video where, or a podcast I should say. This is where you have me on in the background as you do whatever you're doing, cleaning room, working, working out, mowing, doing whatever, yard work, doing whatever, having me in your ear. Or maybe I can give you some cheer, make you chuckle a little bit, or... Or give you a good sense of feeling. Hopefully I do that with some of y'all out there. I I really enjoy telling you my experiences and what I think sometimes and just or or anything like that. And, and my misfortunes, um and, and stuff like that. And and I really do I uh, hope you been enjoying this. Um you know, this is some just not Lego. Everybody knows this is a Lego channel. 99% of the stuff I do on this channel is Lego content. But this is the one thing I do that gives you beyond that, beyond Clicking Cliff. Like I said before, the Clicking with Cliff is my podcast where I do about Lego inside the Lego realm. But this podcast goes beyond it, beyond Lego. Gives you you know my on my life and my journey and stuff like that so i really been hoping that you've been enjoying that um now i've been doing this for a year now a little bit over a year doing this podcast and i noticed the numbers go up numbers go down on these podcasts and i i understand not every podcast is probably going to be entertaining to you or or something that you that 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 you know but I do appreciate everyone that does listen, even if it's just one or twice. You know, if you miss one, that's fine. I just, I, I, th- I want to thank you guys for giving me your, your ear and giving me your time. And that means a lot to me. Um, but thank you for everybody who's been helping this channel grow um, with your likes and subscriptions and comments. Uh, just, just make sure you hit the like button. I guess YouTube, that's the only way other people can and find me is by likes, I guess. I don't know. Um, and I don't know why people are so stingy on likes. I like every video that I watch. I hit the like button before I even turn it on to listen to. But if you don't like it, that's fine. You know, that, that, this is not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I get it. It's all good. But today, I want to kind of talk to you about expectations now I don't my I, and this is click and cliff my theory on expectations you know as I go into a job I expect to get paid I, I accept to you know, get my hours and I expect uh, I have to work and and I expect to go home I mean that's just the normal ex, you know I, you know, I expect that. Um, but have you ever, I don't know, I, I'm not trying to bring sports in, but I'm using that as an example. My team, I expect them to win, and I get very disappointed when they don't. And uh, and I don't know, and I don't know if that's everybody. Now, comment down below if this ain't you. Do you go into something expecting something out of it, then it turns out to a whole different income? Does it, or outcome? Does it, like, make make you feel disappointed? Um, my, I'm sure my wife says that about me all the time. I expect I expected you to be a good husband, and boy, am I disappointed. I don't know if she does that or not, but I'm just you, you're going to ask her. But I'm just saying, I it's just I've always thought. Why do we expect things? I mean, why do we go into go into a store and buy a, that shirt and expect it to fit? Shouldn't we try it on first? You know, I, I'm dude. I haven't shopped at a store in a long time where I went into a dressing room to try on anything. I don't know if they even do that anymore. I, I do know, my, at least the stores in my area shut down their their uh, place off a uh, dressing room to try on 
shirts or whatever because of COVID. But does it, I mean, I don't know if they're, they open them back up or not. I don't know. But do you go in there and buy a shirt and expect it to, to, to fit? Um, and you get home and it turns out, well, I usually wear a 5X and it doesn't fit because it may be too snug. You're like, uh oh, maybe I shouldn't make that extra slice of pizza the other night or, or whatever the case may be. The, I mean, the expectations on things. Now, I didn't know that we go into, you know, I will bring Lego in this. I know I, when I order Lego, I expect a good product, and, I, and I'll be very disappointed after I get the thing built if it's not. And, because, you know, everybody in this Lego hobby knows that Lego costs a little bit of money. It, it, it does. It, it, you know, some of the prices on the things are a little, a little high, and if you pay it, you expect it to be, the best out there especially for the price and I don't know if anybody uh you know the expectations on things a lot of people voice it a lot more than others but that I want to know what your expectations are do you have expe expectations in life like uh starting out you, you just graduated high school you, you going to college um uh, you're expire. You're 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 trying to be a doctor or something. Let's just say, let's go for the goal, of, ultimate goal of being a a brain surgeon. And your your expectations is you gotta go through these many years of school to do it, and you expect yourself to be a brain surgeon at the end of the journey. Um, I, to me, for one, my expectations when I joined the fire department, I didn't expect anything. I didn't try to make myself expect anything. So, I, you know, I started out as a volunteer firefighter. You know, I knew what the full time guys did, and I, I expected I'd be doing the same. So, when I went to my got done with my schooling on it and, and, and tried out for the fire department, and I made it and I got hired on full time. I You know, expected to do everyday things. Um, now, you you think uh, I never did expect the career to take me to where I, it took me. I went and got my instructor's thing. I was teaching. Um, I. My first office wasn't really an office in the fire department. I uh, I just got done with my EMT basic, EMT basic. That's that's like the first level. We got first responder, then EMT basic, then you got EMT paramedic. And I just I done my first responder, got my EMT B done, and then or basic. Um, and the chief gave me the first responder coordinator for the fire department. That means I was in charge of first responder medical wise medical side of it <clears throat> make sure we had people and, and get and make sure everybody had training because you know our requirements on the fire department at least had to be first responder then they got it where you they had to be EMT basic to be on the fire department but first was just first responder and my job was to make sure to get everybody through it and I was coordinating it then I got promoted to lieutenant I didn't expect that well, that was challenging. That was very challenging. I did not like it. I don't know. You guys out there, you know, in your, in your jobs, you want to get promoted to bosses. I mean, so it, it, you, know, you know, just the old saying, the grass ain't always greener on the other side. Because when I got that lieutenant spot and I got all the responsibilities I had to do, I'd be responsible for people on the fire scene in the, in the station had my jobs other than the stuff that I was already doing, you know, more paperwork and more, more stuff you had to do. I mean, I was in charge of payroll. I mean, that, that was, that was stressful. You're messing with people's pay. Whew. That, that was a little stressful. Um, I, I, I so wanted to go back to, I, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I went to the, my chief a lot. Can, I, can you just demote me back to, 
a regular firefighter. I don't want. I don't. I don't know if I want to do this. But I, I, he didn't let me. But the expectations, you know, you didn't expect things, you know, like, like you're getting a gift out of the blue. You don't expect those things. Those, that, that's what's fun about it. But then there's the bad, bad side of it, you know. Bad things could happen, and you didn't expect that either. You know, you could get laid off from work. You didn't expect that. So, but saying all that, I'm saying this. Do we expect things when we get into something? Do we go in there with expectations to do something? When I joined YouTube, I didn't expect to get 2,590 subscribers. I came in to expect, I only expect to make videos and, 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 and that's it. I didn't expect to make all these friends that I've made in this, in this experience, this part of my journey, I did not expect to to have all of this stuff in my room. I did not expect that at all. Came in it as, as for fun, and that's what I'm really trying to keep it as fun and, and making friends. That's that's all I've ever wanted out of this whole journey is to make friends and and. and but I tell you what, you know, even that, you know. There's some people that I was friends with and decided that we're not friends no more. And that's on them. I can't do nothing about that. Um, I know me personally, I didn't do nothing wrong. But it is what it is. You know, people do drift apart and that's part of life. Uh, they chose to go a different way than what you chose. And that's, and that's to be expected. <laughs> that's life. That's everywhere. It's like... You know, when you graduate high school, you know, you were with these people from, you know, most of us, or if you stayed in the same school system, you were, you, you, mo about 80% of these people you grew up with in school from, and, you know, went to high school with all these, you know, four years of high school, and you graduated, you know, nothing's going to change, I'm going to see these guys later, and a few years later, you, you don't even talk to one of them. You may not see see them until your ten or twenty year class reunion. Um, some you know, I mean, I had a best friend in high school. I didn't think me and them ever, ever would not talk again. Now, me being out of high school, he got married. I got married. He had a family. I had a family. I moved. We don't hardly ever talk. We'd never talk. Matter of fact. I, we have not picked up the phone and talked to each other in a long time. Now, and, and, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying it happens. I mean, I don't see, the only time I see any of the people I graduated high school with is, is on Facebook. I mean, and, but they have their own lives now. And, and I, it seems like that. It seems, even in, in your job, people will, be friends and then they'll they'll get all apart. It's just like we're growing and we don't have time for each other. I don't know what I don't know what causes that. That's oh, and, and I've been I was I, I was up last night thinking about it. I was like, what caused us not to keep in touch with everybody? And it's called life. I mean, you got people got busy with their family. You know, you got to make sure we support our, you know support our family. We work. You you know. Do, you know, just move on, and, and and they're moving on with their life, and we're not moving in the same direction anymore. Uh, and, and and and, but the thing is, you're making memories, and I can think about those memories, and and, and it'd be fun. But but the expectations as you're going into a marriage, you know, or going into a relationship with your with the person that you want to be with, uh, the expectations. Yeah, do you guys think ahead? I don't. This is probably just a random podcast, but I thought about all these expectations. I mean, you know what I expect out of things, and 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 I'm trying to. I'm going. What is an? You know, what is my expectations on life or anything? You know, I've been thinking about that for a while. And what do people expect me to do, or expect? You know, what am I expecting 
you guys do. Uh, I don't, I don't know the answer, and the ex but, but I do know I go in everything with expectation. I expect me to do this video with no problems, which I bet there will be when I'm editing it. Um, but I expect when I get done with this, I expect to go. Uh, go on to do my next my next thing and uh, are they exceptions or are they goals I mean I don't know it's kind of cool to hear your thoughts on it. this is just my thought this is my thought thoughts on it and thoughts of this podcast was to is just to uh, you know talk about that you know just kind of expect what do what do people expect um, as they go into things and and uh, and I like to hear your views on it. So if you made it this far, maybe you do want to put type in a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on expectations. Um, I don't know, uh, but I think I'm gonna leave this one with you here today. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your expectations are um, on whatever it is. Uh, maybe consider subscribing if you ain't subscribed. Uh, pay it forward to pay it forward, of course. Be nice to one another. Treat others how you would want to be treated. Um, say something nice. I like your hat like your shirt you know I ex you know I expect you to do that um, but always be true to one another be somebody's light in somebody's darkest cloud or try to light up a cloud or try to light up somebody's dark cloud just be nice could go a long ways all right guys until next one bye bye